30 minutes, um, we will be hopefully be in the dungeon assuming monsters don't kill you guys before then. Or well, assuming that we don't get lost again. That's all very likely. <laughs> Y'all have seen it happen multiple times already. Uh, Alright. Admittedly, you guys roll a 1. You guys can end up in any location, anywhere. So, that is where you guys are. I need someone's survival check. Alright. Okay, I guide. Won't roll, I won't roll a 1, I promise. That's probably That's something you can't afford. An 11 is not particularly helping you, but you will at least make it one square. Okay. You know, if you had to worry about rations, this would be like constantly worrying about how much food you're wasting. Alright, nothing seems to happen. And on the next day, regardless of what you roll, you will arrive in the dungeon. Yay! So let's, let's go over how, lo how long this has been. It's been five days. You, you should have gotten here so much sooner, but you only saved two days. You should have taken the road. You can't have bad road. Bad roll. Alright. So I'll bring over your tokens at a moment. I think you guys can still see your previous tokens. I think, I think we're just going to leave that there. One moment, as I copy and paste them over. Alright, you should be able to see it now. Yay! Hello, old friend. Oh, my name is <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Why am I here, Punko? Well, you can, you can just decide what direction you're looking at. Do you have any okay. fancy magic that would allow me to see in this darkness? There's okay, two, I'll... two I'm going to put on myself. <laughs> How's the marching order going to work, guys? The rogues in front? Yeah, I can't see much. While we're in there, I would put mage armor on myself and dark vision. Alright, use two of your spell slots in order to do that. Go ahead. Yeah, it means two d20s though, because one's a level one and one's a level two. For mage armor? Mage armor is a level one spell. Yeah, so I'll, I'll do a d20 for that one. Right. Ooh, I'm just seeing your dark vision right now. Ooh. Oh damn! Oh. Should we back up? <laughs> yep. Um, no, you, Too you, late. you were unaware of this. You guys were deciding your order, and he just cast his spell. Um, roll me a d ten thousand. Oh 10, my god, ten thousand! It's hundred. That's how much we're following the one in the booth. Just at this moment, we know. Um, you know what? The one in the book can be just as deadly as the d ten thousand. So you're. It's up to you which one you want to use. Not the one in the book. <laughs> we'll use the one in the book then. Only because I know there's a good uh, fireball. <laughs> All right, and you're rolling permanently have mage armor. <laughs> fifty. All right, fifty. Okay, where are you? That is sorcerer on the bottom page. All right, at fifty, you cannot speak for the next minute. Whenever you try, pink bubbles float out of your mouth. Oh, so, <laughs> could be worse. It, it worse. could have been a lot worse. Uh, Major armor goes off. Um, I'm pretty sure the party will wait one minute so you can cast your other spell. I was going to say, I'll have to wait because the next one's available as well. It's up to the party. They can't hear you or understand a word well, you're saying. Duration is eight hours for Major armor. Yeah, but like I'm just saying, like you saw him do this and the bright light goes off. And now, whenever he tries to speak to you, bubbles come out of his mouth. Are you okay, buddy? Just, just actual bubbles. <laughs> actual bubbles are coming from his mouth. They are cool. pink and have a little purplish, li purplish liquid. What? As he's trying to talk, I'm gonna like pop the first few bubbles. Yeah, it <laughs> smells like bubble gum. I think he's having a fit. I think we should uh, tie him. Up, put some, put a piece of wood in between his teeth. Oh, I think you need to see a physician of some sort. <laughs> Can you breathe? Are you dying? Oh my god, he's dying. Uh, wait. You can't cast spells now because you need to talk. 
Well, not all spells are, you know, verbal. But a good chunk of them are. Shake, shake's head yes or shake's head no? <laughs> Just shake's head. I'm pretty sure shake's head means no, and nod to be yes. Oh, okay. Okay, now, how are we going to work out the marching order? Since uh, two of us have dark vision, and the rogue does not. Well, uh, they're going to... They're gonna need a torch no matter what happens. I could be basically Rogue and I can like step forward together because he could hide with me. Yeah. You just need to tell me what everything is. Yeah. You just need to um as if you're like just a little five year old, just clasp to the bottom of my leg <laughs> and we'll walk forward. <laughs> no problem. Uh Deacon will go ahead and take the uh, back slot so we can go ahead and put the uh, bubble blower in the cradle. All right, who am I following? I can't see shit. Uh, Rock no. <laughs> Oh, one. there you are. Now we so, are. Uh, so we would have the map of this dungeon yep. then. You do and have the map of the dungeon. <laughs> it's literally what you guys remember from last time. Yeah. Okay, so. This room, according to map, had mimics. Yes, you do, in fact, okay. remember that. And from here, do I see? I want to roll perception as well. Yeah, I, I, I just don't. I just don't want to know if the, if those chests are actually still there, or if, or if you just forgot to take them off. Rolling perception. Well, the one should be empty and sitting I'm over here. I'm trying to set up a torch so the stream actually has vision. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, so this should be a flat 30 30. And all players will be able to see this. And there you go. That is the viewer following you guys around. Huh. Cool. That's cool. Wait, what? Bubble, bubble. Surprisingly a large amount of chess. <laughs> okay. It, it had babies. Yeah, um, a lot of babies. The map does, in fact, say mimics. And it also says there is a wall that tries to eat you. Oh, we killed that. That's what the map says. We did? I don't remember killing anything. Have you ever been here before? No, no, you're right. Sorry. Alright, so... I see so, one, two, three, four, five chests, so I believe. Gideon, do you wanna cast that uh, thorn thing again? Why? So, like, get them all and get all those chests inside thorns? Well, they won't affect them unless they move. And it's, oh. I don't know they're mimics, but mimics don't move. They tend to not move. They wouldn't do any good. Well, then. <laughs> we say we go one at a time, then. Right. Okay. Uh, Draco, at this point, I will allow you to speak, and you can cast your dark vision. Alright. Alright. Feel free to oh, roll again. <laughs> Hang on, I'll step back in case. <laughs> oh, no. Draco, your breath actually smelled good for once. Oh. <laughs> right. He has dark vision. And. This is pretty much what happens, guys. He eventually just hits a ticking time bomb as he walks around. Also, don't forget, um, Draco, you have advantage when I tell you to roll your d20. In which I just did, so. You have advantage on your next attack or spell. So I say we start from this end and just like work our way through. Alright. Do you want to open them? Yeah. We, we think they're... 
We believe they're chess. Of course we're going to. We are adventurers. Oh, look, so look, it's it's fishy. No, like, one at a time, one at a time, you guys. The room said mis mi uh, mimics. Oh, the, oh, the, map says, the map says mimics? The map says mimics. The map okay. does, in fact, say mimics. The map what? does not say mimics. Okay, so we don't know they're mimics. No, it, no, it, it does. No. It, in fact, does there say are. mimics. It, there are mimics marked on the maps. Oh. So we are prepared when... Well, I got a ten-foot pole. You want me to poke one? Uh, uh, sure, sure. I was I'm just gonna start gonna with this and kind of work the way through. Yeah, I can reach that. I'll poke that one. All right, you poke <laughs> it. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Do you attack it or do you just poke it? Well, I'm gonna give it a good whack. All right, roll the hit. With a okay, ten foot pole. Well, first thing I'm going to do is cast Shillelagh. Let's just go ahead and say that. And yeah, I will go ahead and give it a decent little whack. Alright. Also, how long does Shillelagh last? As One you minute. Critically fail. Uh, roll D10. Uh, D10. 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 You're going to break your stick. He might. Yep. But men at the end of the day, he can just mend it. Are you going to attack one of us? It'll be hard to do that since no one's near him. Well, if it breaks. Okay. All right. Well, you you definitely missed though. Okay. It's a ten foot pull. It's hard to handle. Okay, I'll try it again. Uh, you succeed in hitting. Um, if it is a, in fact alive, it took eight damage, but did not move. Okay, no problem. It didn't move, so we'll just keep on walking down the line and hit one after the other. Uh, so I'm gonna go up to this one then, and just use my sword and swing at this first. All right, first swing at that one. It hits. If it is alive, it took 14 damage. So they're not moving when we hit them. They don't seem to yep. be. Okay, I'll right, attack this one. Yeah, I rapier. All right. Roll attack. Now roll initiative. Uh, <laughs> you, 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 Tim Solo managed to attack the one <laughs> that attacks back. Uh, nine. Oh god. It's gonna eat me, isn't it? <laughs> if it gets a chance to, it probably will. It is a mimic. Well, at the end of the day, they may all be mimics. You don't know yet. Ah, oh, come on, roll twenty. Don't fail on me now. No, roll twenty. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh. I actually, <laughs> actually want to uh, roll a one sometimes, so I can use me lucky. Yeah, I got it as well. Alright. Well, you pick out. Roll right? 20 issues. So annoying. So, uh, the stream shouldn't go down, but I will hopefully be able to get this back up. Okay. Uh, we have our initiative. Alright, now I'll roll their initiative. Alright, one at a time, here we go. Holy shit, they got some initiative. Well, he rolled an at 20. Listen. To hear, I mean. Alright. And there we go, and then we'll order it. And someone goes 21. Literally the one who Tim Solo <laughs> hit. Oh, That's to go first. Alright. Well. It was, was nice, it was nice knowing you, uh, man. Being hit. Alright. As an attempt to hit you with his tongue. 
<laughs> Why the freak stuff like dung? God damn it. Well, it's very unfortunate, isn't it, though? So my cart would have been at the entrance. Like, inside, but at the entrance. It wouldn't be in here with us. That is perfectly fine. Uh, how's the tiger? Where Where is he right now? Yeah, that's what I want. It's still the midday, or is it night? Uh, it's still in the morning. Because I want him to follow us, but not stay close. He's he probably staying at in the uh, the entrance then unless you go get him. With the no, cart. Get him after this fight. Uh, a seventeen hits you, I believe. I believe it does. All right, you're in its mouth and take seven damage. Ow! Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! If it gets another turn in which you have not escaped, it will attempt to swallow you. What happens <laughs> if I get swallowed? Lots and lots of damage. This guy hops up and attempts to attack Gideon. Oh no! See what move that? I don't know which one to go for. I believe it oh, hits man. Gideon. Yeah, that hits. Six. And then it's Draco's turn. Okay. That's the one next to Gideon. Holy Jesus! Oh, fireball! Oh no, crit fireball! I'm a crit. <laughs> cool. All right. I know it's a fire. It's still a spell. Burn. He hits for sixteen. Nice. Um, and it will make its Constitution saving throw against your spell. Is it on fire? No, it has to see if it still holds onto your friend here. Just never come. Oh, oh. Right. What is it, it holds onto your friend without letting go. Okay. Rook. Uh, I will take that one step up and attack the one attacking Tim. Cut the tongue! Cut the tongue. <laughs> it hits, dealing 13 damage. Uh, that's it. You feel as if this mimic is completely unfazed by your attack. Really? Completely unfazed by your attack. It doesn't even have to make its con save. That's not good. Um, and less good as this mimic right here, standing right next to Rook, begins to suddenly change color and attack oh, no. him. Oh shit! <laughs> Alright, as it tends to grapple your friend. 20 hits uh, for 10 damage. Alright, let me see if I can get this correctly. Fucking hate mimic. You should. They're very annoying. All right, and this is just extra damage from the the flaming one who attacked you. Were. Not the roll to hit, just the damage. Uh, okay, another seven damage. In the form of fire, Gideon, please your turn. Okay, you are Gideon considered is... uh, restrained, so you can't move. Okay, Gideon is going to cast Shillelagh, of course, and just whack the one that's right beside me. A nine will miss. And, oh, well, good for me. Um, uh, am I grappled by it at all? It's restraining you. It is not grappling you. So your attack would have been at disadvantage had it been grappling you. Okay, no problem. Then I will not move. Um, Tim Solo. You say a way to try to cut his tongue or flip yeah, away? Yeah, if, if you deal damage to him, he has a well, he actually won't have to make a contact. Um, it's up to you, man. You don't know. This guy looks bigger and more front, oh. more uh, fiendish than the rest of them. I have a, a, f a friendly right near me, so I can sneak attack it. Yes, you can. I'm gonna fucking go for it. Boom. Uh, let's see, it's a 17 yeah. hit. Nice hit. Yeah, that is. AC, 17 hit, yes, for 19 damage. Let me go! <laughs> he doesn't have to make his saves, unfortunately. Make your athletics check as it attempts to swallow you. Can it be acrobatics? It cannot be acrobatics. Shit. It's gonna swallow me. 
Good Phoenix. Fuck Roll me. good. Oh my yeah. god. Oh, one is, a one is not helping. I got lucky. I got lucky. lucky. I got lucky. That's one. You can roll again. Oh, right. <laughs> Luck. All right, so, um, <laughs> yes, you do succeed. It doesn't manage to swallow you. It's still holding on to you, though. Um, that was his action. So, it is now the other flaming chest's turn. Actually, not the flaming one. This is... No, it's the one next to Gideon. one Gideon, okay. Uh, Gideon, it, you're still being held. It will attempt to swallow you as well. Make your athletic check. Athletics check. And bingo. Ruh row Reggie. Okay, well you're also in there. Alright, there you go, man. Oh, let's do it um, the other way, so you have to see both of your tokens. Am I in the chest? You're in the chest. Uh you will also take some damage. Okay. Uh, your treasure. In a way, you are very much treasure. Uh this okay. is in the form of acid, not fire, but here you go. It's not rolled a hit, but you take two damage. Two points, gotcha. Nineteen. Draco. Don't hold no. back. <laughs> I was thinking he should go inside it. Hopefully it'll let him go when I when I'm banning it again. Hopefully I'm banning it. <clears throat> Same one. Someone getting an eight is small. not a hit. No, oh, it might damage. Not being a, a flammable near it, is it? Because, like, no, unfortunately. It's that's not on fire. <laughs> not. You know, it can set All fire. Alright. To... Rook, it's your turn. Um, I'm debating whether or not to actually do this or to make it easier on you, but I don't think I'm going to make it easier on you. So, as you are being held by a creature on fire, you will take some fire damage. Was I held? You're being held, aren't you? If you're not being held, you won't take it. I, I don't think. I will, yeah, I, Tim and Gideon were being held, but he hasn't tried to swallow me yet. Oh, it, the fact that it's holding you is why you're taking fire damage. So if it's not holding you, I thought it was. No, I think it was. I didn't have to do anything against the grapple or anything. Oh, the, the actual roll to hit is where not it, it restrains you. Oh, okay. Well, it did hit me. Yeah. So you take seven okay. fire damage. Just at the start of your turn, as his tongue is on fire. Okay. Okay, then I'll start with second wind <laughs> again. Uh, oh shit, only heal for five. And it's athletics to try and break free? Yes. Um, you could also attack. You, you you know that if you hit it hard enough, it will have to make a contact to let go. I need to hold on. Uh, no, yeah, I, I will actually just attack it then. Seventeen's a hit. It takes seventeen damage. It's pretty damn hurt as you cut through the wooden chest, but you can still see its flaming little heart beating on the inside of it. Okay. As it makes its contact against your seventeen damage. And fails and let goes. Okay, so um, would I be able to take a step back without it getting an attack of opportunity on me then? It will still get an attack of opportunity, but it's up to you okay. if you want to move. Uh, I'll stay there. Alright, then it's a turn to attack you. <laughs> Please don't. Yeah, you need me there. Alright, well, its lift didn't work. It's going to try to spit some acid at you, maybe. I guess it will just attack you, so let's go with that. It bites 19. you for six damage. You are not restrained or grappled, they just bit you. Yeah. Gideon, you're inside of it. What do you do? Yes, I am. I am going to whip also, out... Also, before I completely forget again, uh, you take some acid for being inside of it. Again? I take acid? I just took acid. At the start of your turn. Oh, actually, yeah, you already took it when you attacked you. Sorry. Right. Okay, but... It's the start of his turn that you take more acid. Okay, no problem. Well, hopefully if this works, he won't have a turn. Yeah. Wow. Got him both I'm going to gonna say it's hard to miss from the inside of it. Yeah. Alright. You do 11 damage to him and he will make his con check. I want to crit. 
with my sword so much. It, it does not let go. Oh, shit. Okay, and for my bonus action. Oh, okay. All right. Um, actually, the rules state you cannot cast two spells in one turn. So you, if you had a cantrip that was a bonus action, you could activate it, but you can't cast both. Yeah, uh, word a and cantrip is still a full action casting action. Yeah. I know the rules are a little, the rules are a little odd when it comes to like spe bonus action spells, but like if he wanted the cantrip, his first act, his action, and then bonus action for a healing healing word was a bonus action spell, he could do it, but he can't cast two spells. Oh, okay. I yeah, gotcha. I yeah. gotcha then. No problem. It's, it's a uh, then, if you want to pick one or the other, it's up to you. Oh, can I? I'm letting you pick it now because you didn't know before. All right. I'll give it to Ruck. Uh, the eight hit points. That is fantastic. All right. But, you know, just keep that in mind next time. Yeah, I did not realize that. My apologies. All right. Uh, Tim Solo. Sneak attack the mimic that is in front of me. You don't want to save your friend I Gideon? <laughs> I'm still uh, being grappled, am I not? You're being yeah, you're, you're being restrained, but you're not swallowed. But someone should be dying. We each have our own chest, just <laughs> except yeah, for I'm Draco, who stayed as far back as he could. I'll be here. Yeah. This one. So Raper sneak attack. Please hit. I think that's a hit. It's a hit for 19, 19 damage. Uh, you cut into him. He seems hurt. And by that, I mean he's not hurt at all. Not? No. Jesus Christ. Um, can I disengage as my... Um, not well action? restrained. Shit, I did 219 damage and it's not hurt. Oh god. Mm, then I guess I cannot do anything else. Yeah, you're still grappled. Alright, it's his turn. He will attempt to swallow Tim Solo again. God. He must taste real good. I would imagine halflings are very tasty. Just something that literally waits around for anything to come by. Pretty much. Jesus Christ, how much... At the end of the day, I, I've eaten have. chickens and I've eaten game hens, which are baby chickens. And game hens are, like, tasty. Very... Uh, Tim, your FLX. Oh, sorry. I hate that fight. Uh, you pass. Yay! Alright. That was I'm his like, nope. turn. It is the one who has already swallowed someone. He will take your acid damage. Uh, acid, not fire, but there we go. So you take seven more, and he will hop his way over towards the spellcaster. Tim, would you like to make a reaction to attack? You can if you like. Oh, could he sneak oh, me? attack that? Can, yeah, can I sneak attack it? Our reaction cannot be sneak attack. Oh. You're inside the chest. No, Tim is attacking the Tim, one. Uh, Tim is not inside the chest. Rapier. Uh, five damage. Is it dead? It's not dead. Oh, that was min damage. It looks so yeah. close, too. Like, getting from the inside. Sorry. You, oh, sorry. Did I lower, lower Gideon's help out with accent? Well, didn't didn't you say that I took the acid damage from being inside of it? Oh, okay. Like, I, I saw the HP go down after I get entered for the Mimic's HP. I thought I lowered your accent. Yeah. All right. I was waiting to see which one you moved, then I went ahead and adjusted it. Okay. So, uh, that's pretty much it. It's Gideon from the inside. You can see this thing dying, but it's it's still alive. Okay. It's holding Draco. itself together. It's your turn, man. I was going to try something with his move now. I was going to blast up three of them, but now I can't do it. Um, magic missile at level two. That's four missiles. So that is 4d4 plus 1s. 4d4 plus 4, yeah. Which ones are you hitting? I'm hitting this one. Oh, they're all going to that one? All of them, yeah. Okay. Well, I, I mean, well, I hit it once, so I want to have a fire to it before. Well, Magic Missile, they're all automatic hits. 
Yeah, no. Like you can, you can designate multiple targets, or you can designate all the same targets. Yeah, no, but it's getting close to me, so um, it's got some weight inside it. All right, take the shots. Hopefully. And yeah, it is sixteen damage, which is enough to kill it. Yeah. And it just spews getting it out. So I roll me D twenty now, do I? Um. Yes. You're good. You're holding up. And then I will move. In three years, the mimics were produced. Yeah, they have. Alright. I'm just going to use my snowballs and try and hit all three. Going with the sword again. On the one that. On the flaming one and. Alright, as you swing, dealing 17 damage, it is enough to kill you, but you did take some fire before you oh, managed yeah. to kill it. So let me roll that right now. You take another 7 fire damage. Damn! Oops. Yeah, it fucking hard. Yeah, but it's been consistent 7 with that. Well, he's dead now, so that's all pretty nice. Okay. Flaming so. little dead corpse. Um, uh, can I. Use accent accent surge to attack the one that is holding Tim. Um, let's see. Yes, you can. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna help Tim. I'm here for you, Tim. No, I'm not. <laughs> you didn't crit, but you hit. But uh, you hit him for uh, oh, I did fifteen. Hit him? Okay. Yes. Oh, uh, if I crit. Uh, yeah, if you crit, that would have been a lot more noticeable. Uh, you cut into it, and you, you think that your sword clashes against some bit of metal or something inside this chest. <laughs> but, like, your attacks are hitting, but it's not dealing a lot of damage. Gideon. This one's uh, tough. How hurt does that does that last mimic look? Um, immediately. There's a few tiny scratches, but it looks totally fine. Okay, then. So we're going to whip out the big spell again. Uh, nope, that ain't it, that ain't it, that ain't it, that ain't it. There In the middle of the fight, he pulls off the spellbook and like, nope, 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 oh, this one. I'm just gonna make the last one a little bigger to be more intimidating. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Guiding bolt hits for 13 damage. Okay. Next, you, you think your spell hits against true, when it deals quite a bit of damage to him. So we have Sneak advantage now? from inside. <laughs> Uh, Tim Solo. Do we have advantage with that getting bolt thing? Um, on the first attack against the creature, you do have advantage. Fucking rapier that shit. You don't want to give it to the orc? It might crit. Get an insane little... Alright, well, 13 will hit. It is now the mimic's turn. Oh god, it's gonna hit me. Well, it's... <laughs> well, fortunately for you, it's not bigger than you. It's still your... It's... Actually, you're small, aren't you? Yeah, yeah you're small. Oh, we damn, you, you should have disadvantage this whole time. So I think I should be using acrobatics and not athletics. It's not acrobatics still. Come on. You you're roll your athletics, to, like... but you actually have disadvantage because you're smaller than it. So it's trying to eat me? It's gonna probably eat you, yes. Go for it. Yep. You fail. You're inside there, man. It's not so Tim. bad. I was in there for a round or two. It's not that bad, trust me. Alright, any eagle take some acid damage while you're in there. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Ooh. Seven damage. It actually will be double. That's a crit. What? I'm, d I'm done. Crit? Eight well, there's no roll for it, it's just... Oh, yeah, damage. yeah. It's not, it's not roll to hit, it's just you're in there. So you take seven, sorry. Oh, no, okay. I'm fine. I, mean, I saw the crit. You're welcome, like, I just completely forgot. Not fine. <laughs> Thank you, Red, I'm god of rules. <laughs> uh, Draco, go for it. Okay, uh... You hear the scream, use magic! <laughs> From inside. A muffled scream, like, use magic! <laughs> Cast me a uh, firebolt at that one. Alright. Just in case, because I'm not sure if firebolt's going to hit him inside. I'm also using my careful spell. So I use a... Uh, a sorceress. Points, 
so it doesn't hit hit the guy inside. All right. Tim, what's inside? Also, roll your d20. Treasure. Yeah. <laughs> roll me d20 before me spell. After. Yeah. Well, it's a it's a level it's a it's a level zero spell. Oh, right. Oh, using God, catcher. That's bad. Uh, 13 to hit, dealing 3 damage, and you're pretty sure your friend is unhurt. Yeah. But I know he is. <laughs> Alright. Rook. See a small thumbs up in the Sword. Sword. Oh. <laughs> dealing 12 damage. That's my, my minimum is 12. I actually, that's so nice. <laughs> that's not nice at all. <laughs> Gideon Rain. Okay, Deacon is coming up here, and we're swinging. Okay. Uh, I think you activated Chili earlier. I'm not 100% sure anymore, though. You did. Here. Yeah. Right. Six. It hits. It bounces off the metallic lining on the inside, but... Tim, you can totally see it. On the inside of this chest, it's metallic, and there's, like, definitely more going on the inside than the outside. Can I see anything from the inside? I guess soft you can see spot. through the little keyhole if you like. <laughs> Is there any soft spot though on the inside? Um, admittedly, it's too dark for you to see any soft spots. But I have dark vision. No, you um, don't. No, you, no, you don't. don't. You have one. Didn't he give it to me? No, he gave it to himself. Oh, it was me. If your token has uh, dark vision, you shouldn't have it. <laughs> no, I don't have. All right. Uh. Rape your sneak attack from the inside. Cool. Nice. Um, I will allow it because you're inside of it. You can't see me. There's also enemies, oh, like allies surrounding. Yeah. I mean, and from the inside, it should be like a freaking crit. <laughs> it's not a crit. You see All my. Right. It's not prone. <laughs> I'll rape your. And I'm going down now. Alright. It's going to keep swallowing the party members. So it's going to be either Rook or Gideon. Awesome. Do I take the 7 damage though? Um, at the start of his turn, yes. So, I will roll it now. Yep. There is the acid damage you take. Oh, uh, I must die then. You only take I 2. I have 4, I have 2. <laughs> take 2. And if the one actually gets swallowed next turn, that will happen as well. It will attack Gideon with a lick, an attempt to restrain and then swallow you on his next turn. Uh, 10 does not hit anyone. Missed. Nope. Draco. Well, if I both. Uh, <coughs> I'm using another sorcerer point. Just, I just don't want to. I don't know if the fire will hit it. Hit him inside. So. If nothing else, you're guaranteeing it. And eleven <laughs> does actually hit, dealing two damage. Oh god. Rook, <laughs> it's your turn, oh, man. Four times. <laughs> Sword! Damn it. That That's definitely a miss. Gideon. Okay, I would use a spell, except honestly, you're gonna need. I need the spells for when we get you out, dude. To heal you. <laughs> if so, you yeah. get me out. <laughs> oh, that's some damage if you hit. 14, oh. yeah. You hit with 11. 14 to hit. Oh, nice. Bonk. Alright, Tim Solo. Sneak attack from the inside. Go for it. 19. Nice. You're chucking, you're chipping away at it. Yeah, but I'm gonna get fucked now. Please roll one damage. <laughs> oh, one you're damage. Gonna, you're gonna go down, aren't you? If you it, roll there's one, there's then no way to roll a one. It's two is minimum. Fuck. I'm not. All right, you go down. Um, you will make your death saving throw on your turn, and probably a second on his turn. Um, all right, he will attempt to lick one of you. Um, he didn't work on the caster. It will attempt the orc now. I'm fucking dead. Orc. Fourteen hit you. Nope. It misses. It's now Draco's turn. I use my last uh, sorcery points because I don't want to be dead or anything in there. So that, and if you did manage to hit him, you take a failed death saving throw. Right. Seven is a hit. 
Oh, 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 so the last time I could do that. <laughs> Your spells are hitting true, but also not dealing a lot of damage. Rook. Sword. You heal your friend. Take his last breath. He isn't dead. <laughs> you can hear him wheezing in there. 16 damage. Alright. Tim! Uh, Gideon Rain. He, it's still not dead. It's, it's still, it's still not, not dead. dead. This, this thing is taking is so much damage. Damage. I've been doing Probably consistent damage, damage this thing. Yeah, same here. <clears throat> of course, I'm dealing nine. Is that a crit? No. 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 If it crit, it would show crit damage as well. Show green. Tim Rain, roll your death saving throw. Good things I cannot roll a one. Oh, oh wow! God. You're you're actually dead. Lucky. I have lucky. You can do it one. Can one you turn. use luck on death? I think so. Um, I don't Take know. Anything. Because luck is. It, uh, I figure luck. Luck was a conscious kind of thing. Well, I thought it. All it says is you can do it on any saving throw. You can re-roll any saving throw. You roll a one on. I think oh. it's any roll, actually. I, I, I will double check. What it says on a halfling. No, it's a thief thing. Thief. Oh. Uh, uh, a thief. No, it's a halfling. halfling. Oh, it's a half thing. Okay. Lucky, whenever you roll, roll. Uh, when you roll one on an ability, an attack, an ability check, or a saving throw. Uh, death time. saving throw. Oh, yeah. Um, I will saving check saving death throw. saving throw and see what it says. This is very like contextual. We get to know for sure because if if he fails, he dies. If he passes, he passes. Death save, death save. Because of one is two death. Uh, two yeah. fails. Yeah, and then right at the beginning of the mimic's turn, he's going to take acid damage. Okay, page 197 is the text relating to death saving throws. Tim is about to die. <laughs> it wasn't even by the tiger. I honestly thought the tiger would kill him eventually. Okay. Instant death? No. Death saving throws. Whenever you start your turn with 0 HP, you must make a special saving throw. Yeah, it, it literally says special saving throw, called a death saving throw, to determine whether or not you creep closer to death. Am I dead? I think you're actually dead. It literally indicates special saving throw. It doesn't just say saving throw. And I'm dead. I think he's dead, guys. Oh well, my God. It He's got three. He can miss, right? No. He, he, he quickly failed, which means then I'm he takes two. The next turn I die. And then on the next turn, he'll take a narrow That's fail because he gets hit. Holy shit, Tim just died. We tried, dude. Damn. Damn. That's so we have to hire Felix again. <laughs> 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 that, that's, that's literally your luck. You rolled a one, man. So wait a second. If he fails a saving throw and then takes damage, he's automatically dead. If he fails a saving, uh, throw, if you quickly well, fail a saving fail. throw, you take two fails because you rolled if a one. If he, if he rolled a two, he would have only took one. But he, he rolled a one, so it's two. It's two okay. Crits. I just thought it was three say three failed throws before you died. Yeah, and then it's, he and then he'll take some acid failed. damage on the mimic's turn, which counts as another fail. So that's three fails already. Taking damage is a fail. Regardless of rolling. Yeah. And there's nothing that goes before him to... Okay, yeah. No, yeah, it's Tim and then the Mimic. Wow, Let's man, see. just bad rolls. Yeah, like... I was. I thought he could re-roll the Lucky with Lucky, but yeah. Yeah, I, have, if, if I he, actually if he agree with say, you. literally I say that Lucky is a special saving throw and not just a normal one. It, it would have been fine. Rose. So. It's like, and admittedly, like, even if it didn't say that, it's very iffy because the saving throw is very different than any other saving throw, you know. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, 
Well, you didn't like the character to begin with. <laughs> now you can okay. roll the stats <laughs> and make a new rogue. I, I am fine with you guys finding a random adventurer who shows up. <laughs> There's someone trapped inside the dungeon. Oh, okay. he's, he's also trapped inside the chest. <laughs> random adventurer chains up and the, and the tiger and the, at the doorway eats him. <laughs> no, okay, so here's what happens, guys. We and just adopt random adventure, Eddie. The, the fight ends, and you hear the cat, the tiger scream a, it's as it's being killed by an adventurer. And that is Tim's new character. Poor cat. Teddy, no! <laughs> Wait a second, the, the tiger's dead? Yes, I, I'm yes, killing out the tiger as well. You're the worst. <laughs> I thought Draco was going to be able to ride it now. I would. I would I get my Tittles would not like it. <laughs> They're both cats. Tittles doesn't like any other cat. Fine. Gideon's a freaking, like, half of uh, the druid. He could have taken care of the cat. Why was this last, why was this last damn mimic so hard to take down? <sighs> it was not, resistance it was... to physical attacks. Only your spells were dealing, like, straight damage to him. And I was just oh. going to hit it with a. Uh, I did not know that. Magic missile. Yeah, yeah, I already didn't know that. So I said, "Use magic." We we need a we need to kill this then first. All right. Um, he will get his chance to try to whip someone up. Um, he's sticking swing at getting in again. Tongue, lick. Uh, misses. Draco, it's your turn. But yeah, your spells are dealing like straight damage, and everything else is not so lucky. Roll the damage. You might kill him right now. All depends. Uh, what, about no. magic no, straight what, about, what about magical weapons? Um, his magic weapon is doing straight damage. Um, and I believe yours as well. Yeah, because yeah, cause Shillelagh uh, is mm. considered magical weapon. Would sneak attack do normal sneak damage? Sneak attack is still half damage. Because it's... So Physical. It takes 11 damage, and then a, it's a level 1 spell, so I'll go do me D20, yeah? Yeah. Well, you did just see your friend die. You're definitely emotional now. You weren't before. Oh, oh wow. wow! Did you just TBK the party? I don't know. I don't know what I've rolled yet. He, he magic missile. Uh, that's a spell. Roll your D20. I mean, not D20. D100. Oh, I think you might have killed everyone. Oh, my God. No. 89. Is that not Oh, wow. We're about to find out. This is. The game doesn't like you guys. <laughs> oh, 89. 89 30. is. Well, an old okay, no, you're, you're good. You're, you're pretty close to dying. If you die. Uh, okay, so. On an 89, you become invisible for the next minute. During uh, that time, the air creatures cannot oh. hear you. The invisibility ends uh, if you attack or cast a spell. So now you're invisible. Damn it, Draco! <laughs> you, as far as you're concerned, your friend just ditched you. You can't, you can't even speak. Coward! <laughs> it sounds like he left. Well, Rocket, maybe go um, I'm gonna use one of my healing potions I have on me. Um, well, I ate it for 11 days, so that's okay. Yeah. Uh, Draco, if you want to leave, you can if you want. You can still move. Uh, I'll Alright, what are you trying to do right now? Um, I'm using a healing potion on myself. Okay. Uh, that is a bonus action. Um, you can still yeah. attack. Okay. Ah. Okay, so... Five okay. Actually, Tim, did, did you have a healing potion while you were in there? Mm, no. I don't know who had it. Is it in the party mode? I probably uh, wasn't carrying it because I would be. No, we didn't. We no. didn't buy it because we had to buy the horses and. But he had to buy a tiger. Yeah. Yeah, but I paid it with my own money, <laughs> not oh, with the, what the twenty-five. Uh, no, Rug had Rug had to buy a horse, so. Yeah. Ah, uh, shit! I miss. That's that's still a miss. I don't know how you're missing missing such a large target, but you are. Get hey. In. All right, I am guessing we are taking a long rest, and I'm angry right now, so. 
Well, you need some mourning. mourning. You have to mourn your fallen ally. You know what? This is a drastic change. Last time he died last, and now he dies first. <laughs> okay, see, there you go. You know, the world comes into balance all over again. Uh, 15 to hit, 14 damage. There is very little left. Um, feel the spirit of Tim, so will deal one damage. <laughs> <laughs> and, then the, and then the mimic dies. Oh, he had one life. He literally had one left. The, 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 the rapier, like, poked on the inside. Mm. Uh, as, the, as the mimic dies and spews out your friend, he also spews out a assortment of magical and wondrous items that Tim had on him. <laughs> so whatever had t Tim had is laying on the floor, along with a total of... A dead Tim? <laughs> 65 silver pieces, 95 gold pieces. I'm just right. contemplating for a minute. 65 Oops. and 95. Right. 65 silver, 95 gold. And I will tell you what item fell out of this mimic earlier. Um, actually, Rook will uh, pick up Tim and everything until... Gideon to try and do the same, and I want to get him, get him out, uh, gotcha. out of here. All right, uh, Tim and various items and belongings are laying on the floor. Should anyone decide to take them? Oh yeah, I I'm picking up like him and everything. I'm just doing this big scoop and just like right. trying to get. Um, here we show. Can you just go ahead and copy and paste your inventory into the party? Right, yeah. Okay. Oh, you want, you want yeah, in the party loot. Yeah, you got the sword party loot. <clears throat> Alright, well, in addition to that, I, I guess that I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, in addition to that, our sorcerer may make an arcana check as you see a rather glowing orb fall out of this mimic's mouth. Can we just like back up out of this room? Because I want I want to get him and everyone out of this room. Yeah, uh, this is like you know everything falls out at once as Tim comes out as well. Alright, uh, Tim, oh not Tim, uh, Draco, uh, you perceive this orb to be very similar to the one you guys had in your last encounter with that bear, though, you know, obviously you guys weren't there, so, um, you perceive it to be an orb, uh, it empowers creatures and makes them stronger for the most part, so, this thing is literally why it had more HP, was a little bigger, and had resistance to physical, t physical attacks. Okay, that's it. That's it for the items. Yes, uh, the orb is solid, and unlike before, where it was cracked, this one's fully functioning. Should you guys want to take it, if you find the proper sorcerer to sell it to, you make a nice chunk of change. All right, and that is everything. Okay. All right. All right you guys can start fleeing back to the entrance if you like. Okay. Yeah, big scoop, grabbing Tim and uh, whatever other belongings and big, meaty half orc hands. Just yeah, we gotta, go, we gotta go give Tim last rites. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot of audio from, coming from somewhere. Like somebody's outside. <laughs> All right, and we're back. Um, so I'll leave it up to you guys if you want the cat around still, because I'll give you guys a chance to save him. Uh, when you find him, he is hurt and injured. Okay, Drago, do you want the cat? I don't want the cat. I've got tittles. I I I I think Gideon would keep him around. He he likes animals. All right. Um, do you have any healing spells remaining, or you can yes, make a medicine check? Yes, I do. Joke? As a matter of fact, while I've got everybody within thirty feet, I'm going to bust out my healing spells. First, I'm going to do this one. Use all my remaining spell slots left. I'm okay. There it is. Cast um, one. Uh, I should have dropped the call again. 
Um, everyone heals 14 then, including nice. the cast. Cast again. That should yeah. be enough for everybody. Top everybody off. Yeah, that's 27 hit points. And you yeah, get that, that back after a short long, or long rest. Have 40 odd, 50 odd. <laughs> Actually, you, you're taking a long rest anyway, so it doesn't matter as much. If you haven't full rest, I'll be happy because I can't, couldn't cast a level 2 spells anymore. Yeah, I can't do cat level 2s, and I think I've only got two left. Alright, I think Harisha was trying to call us. <laughs> oh, yeah, so do is press the green thing. You can just join. Uh, let me try to add him again. You don't have to. Has he, has he rolled yet? Alright, guys, I'm going to end the call and recall, okay? Okay. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Okay, what Wait, is so going on? I can't end the call. What's going on? You want us to just get out? Yeah, mm, you, if you uh, guys can. Yeah. And then I'll restart the call in a moment. Okay, okay. back. All right. Is Tim, uh, Tim is not back. Now he is. Yeah. yeah. Alright. It's unfortunate, Tim. Literally, had you not critically failed, someone could have healed you, and you would have been alive. I was, honestly, I was getting ready to go ahead and do one of my area of effects, uh, heals, just for you, dude. <sighs> like, the luck, the odds, man, the odds, look at that. We it's rolled a lot of ones today. We rolled a lot of low. Like, just the fact that you, your survival, which has a high plus rate, man, you just, the, the game's against you. Hey, think about it this way. You hated your scores last time, at least you get to re-roll them. <laughs> All right, so, Horatio, yeah. let's go ahead and roll your stats, and then I think we're going to wrap up from here. So, uh, what? Uh, how many rolls? So do, so, do we know what that orb is? Um, your sorcerer did, in fact, tell you what it was. Oh, I have no idea what the roll. You role. also know it'd be pre it'd be worth something if you find the right guy to sell it to. Can we not I'll use keep, it? I'll keep an eye. I'll, I'll keep it. In can you package. use it? Technically, you can use it, but it would require a lot more items than just the orb to make something. Well, uh, if it's an orb that like enhances physical ability at some point, so would I not be able to embroider that into my chest, or into <laughs> a chest piece or something? <laughs> Unless you're gonna surgically no, put it like in a, your body, not, not, yeah, not my chest, like a chest piece, like a piece of armor. Unfortunately, all it would do is make the armor come to life. Oh, oh gotcha. Oh. If you could physically put it inside yourself and survive the process, then yeah, you would be physically stronger. I'd but, be more than happy to try and shove it down his throat. <laughs> <laughs> I can give it to me, cat. Oh wow. Yeah, Battle Kitty. <laughs> That's it. New name, Battle Kitty. All right. Um, Horatio, go ahead and roll 46, uh, D1. These are your stats. Uh, good luck with them, man. Those don't seem... Okay, oh, there we go. That's... that's that, 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 that will work. work. All right. That's yeah. still... Yeah, it's so... Yes. One of them ever. It's better than last time. Yeah, hey, dude, you, you pull a 20 out of that right off the bat. Mm, what can I roll? I was thinking of a wizard this time. Well, we do kind of sort of still need a rogue. <laughs> yeah, we're playing another rogue. All right. Rogue or ranger? Right? Rangers well, do rogue so I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I was going to say, uh, what about. Well, you got the 14. What about a pally? I'm Paladin? already playing three Paladins in other campaigns. Okay, because well, because my character is not the best hitter. Obviously, we need another hitter. I could go fighter. Let's... We already have a fighter. Yeah. Probably. I would rather encourage you to play whatever you want, but yeah, like in this particular game, you're gonna need you need that guy. You need more hitters, and mainly if you go for a deck based fighter, you could still attempt lockpicks and whatnot. Yeah, see, that's why I went ahead and I enjoyed the swashbuckler because all you got to do is swing at something and then you can move wherever you want and they don't get an uh, attack of opportunity against you. 
I like the uh, the the fact that he was able to like hide basically underneath me or behind me, and we were both <laughs> just wailing on shit. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I feel bad. Either that or I'm gonna make an, a necro. You should. Your party member died. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Tim Solo was a good character. At the DM. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> He's killing us. He's trying to outright kill us. No, actually, he's hey, he, yeah, he quilty I, failed. I will, I will he let had, him up. Walk. Had he not quilty failed, it's very yeah. likely he would have survived. No, literally, that's what I was going to do. The very next thing, I was going to go ahead and pull out a prayer yeah. of healing. Yeah. Like, or, no, I couldn't do that. If, you, if, you, if you look at it, those chests weren't all that tough. It's just that one. That yeah. one was the thing. And yeah, I, I yeah. took out a flaming one. That one wasn't too bad. Well, I mean, it's not like it hit harder or did more damage. It just did a different type of damage, really. Yeah. No, it did. It did extra fire damage. Wow, that's yeah. messed up. Yeah. Like, I, I, you could make I, the argument that maybe, yeah, maybe these mobs are a little bit stronger than they should be. But at the end of the day, the the mimics are a low CR rating, while the uh, the large one was immediately stronger, but. That was to balance out relative to the four members. Okay, so I guess we just deal, while he's rolling and figure it out, I guess we can just deal with experience points. All right. We are uh, I mean, like, before when you said XP, I would I put it onto the XP for the level three. Is that what you're supposed to do, yeah? Right. Uh, you need the number from last time. Yeah, no, last. No, no, from the mimics. Okay. All right. So you beat up three. One was big. The other one was flaming, and one normal one. <laughs> Indeed. All right. Everyone sees an R four fifty. Okay. Yes. Uh, not including Tim Solo, who unfortunately did not make it. That puts me at an even 1900. Yep. Um, I don't think I'm going to level it up, but you're only 600 points away. Yeah, exactly. It, you know, by the, by the time, I, heck, if you keep throwing this stuff at us, by the time we get to our old bodies. <laughs> you know what? Leveling up before you reach there might be a good yeah, idea. I can take me extra spell. I'll take knock. <laughs> <laughs> Not, not to mention the fact that when I was sitting there poking the mimic, I saw this giant thing in the next room that I just didn't want to ask about. <laughs> um, yes, you did see it. Your character okay. definitely yeah. saw it. As to whether or not he decides to tell the party about it, it's up to you. But then well, again, well, I don't know how much you, how much of it you actually saw, did you? And I See, that's the thing. I, it, it was in full view in the main part of the light. Yeah, I, if, if you saw if you saw it with dynamic lighting, it means you saw it. Well, I'm gonna roll a nature check to see if I knew what the hell it was then. Alright. Right. And then of course I'm gonna let the party know. So Ooh. nineteen. Alright. Um your character is aware of large sentient mushrooms. And that one was definitely a, one of the larger ones you've ever seen. It's a giant walking freaking mushroom in the next room. We're not, we're, 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 uh, although I don't think it could have came out the door at us. It, but it we probably would not have been able to fit through the doorway. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we need to find some place to rest. That uh, we let's, won't let, get. Let, let's go outside. <laughs> the, like, we went into one room and we lost the party member. Let, let's, yeah, let's go have a funeral. He attacks things, he has things attack us in the night. No place to save. Never get out of the boat. Never get out of the boat. I just camp in the. This is still. This is still latest midday. <laughs> it's okay. still very early in the morning. Okay. Yeah. Rest in the in the in entrance way. What do I got left? I think I, I, I got I'd, I'd I'd like to spells. bury Tim first. <laughs> well, yeah, and then come back and rest here because you got shelter. Oh, there's no point in wasting it. I'm just going to feed him to Battle Kitty. 
<laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Don't give the cat the taste for human flesh. <laughs> this is true, yeah. Well, it's half plain flesh, so. But I'm okay. still. <laughs> I, it's pretty bad for a cat to eat its previous owner. <clears throat> Especially if you want to tame it. All the time with me. And I'm going to cast animal friendship on it, and I'm going to explain it to him the whole and speak with animals. And the whole time he's eating, see what happens when you don't protect your owner. No, I'm not. Do you eat him? (laughs) (laughs) If he wants to get if he gets hungry, he'll just let you die. Then. Yeah, it'll realize that if it doesn't protect its owner, it gets a free meal. Yeah. Yeah. Not. That's that's not good. Okay, You're yeah. A bad animal tamer. <laughs> uh, okay, I, I I don't think I knew Tim well enough to know what his religion was. So, um, well, you guys have traveled together before, so I, I will okay. say you do know what it, whatever it is, as <laughs> to whatever Tim decides it to be. It's up to him. You guys want to go for burying, or you want to go for uh, Valhalla Rising and burn the body? Burn him. Burn him. Okay, let, yeah. Let's go for burning. I don't yeah. have to do the whole. I have I have a wood axe in in the uh, cart, so we can go chop down a tree quick and ma- make a nice funeral. All right. So as you get, gather the the wood and prepare the body, you guys light it on fire, and as the <coughs> as the sun uh, comes to a close for the night, you guys will take your rest. But you, you can in the distance you hear the silence of the night and the quick the. Uh, the crickets screeching, and it's all very calm. And then you guys get a vision of Tim Solo ascending to heaven. <laughs> Aww, that's nice. Going solo. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that sucks. Man, we're dropping like flies. Uh, like, <laughs> we really are. I, I, I want to bring it up. It's like. If he didn't critically fail that death thing throw, he would yeah. be fine, but like, damn. That was a crit fail. That's, and I do think we do need to research that whole lucky thing. Yeah, I, 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 I thought it would have been a turning with, point right there. Yeah, but I, I don't think, like, I, <laughs> I never, was... I never heard of someone using the halfling lucky in order to reroll a death saving throw. I've heard of people being allowed to do it with a the lucky feat, but like the halfling one, it doesn't apply to. Uh, yeah, but I've, I've heard it on, like, well, it's just, it's down to interpretation, isn't it? Because, like, I know in my yeah. real life game, I allow it. Because it says save and throw, and a death save is a save and throw. Yeah, but also the text literally says special death save and throw. So it's special yeah. save and throw. It's, yeah, but the uh, lucky doesn't say not death, uh, special, it just says save and throws. So to me, that's generic. That's all of it. But, that's entirely up to you how it works. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave it that way. It's like, at the end of the day, he rolled a one on the death saving well, throw, and a lot of things you know don't affect death saving throws. Yeah, but does Lucky, the actual feat, does that do them? Yeah, I'm reading it now, and it doesn't say anything about special saving throws. No, it's all right. It's already done. Like, yeah. And we're going to get a new character with better stats. <laughs> Slightly, slightly better stats. Tim Solo's little brother. <laughs> yeah, wait. Let's see. What was what was Tim Solo's background? He has like a sister, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Sister. Sister. it could it could be the sister. Nah. By the orphanage. Oh, he had that shield, eh? Oh, and the shield, yeah. Family heirloom. What was the shield? Um. Yeah, it, it comes back to its owner. And since the owner died before passing it on, it, it, I, I'm gonna say it send it with him. Oh, Aww. man! And I use a shield too. I honestly yeah. thought the sister like became the shield because it had a girl on it. <laughs> it does have a girl on it, but no, it's not. It's not a sister. <clears throat> um. Yeah. Well, technically, if you guys want to pay homage to him, he has a little sister you guys could take care of. That's like we. We would know about her too, eh? If yeah. We were together. So, yeah. Yeah. We would definitely like. I. I. I would be, feel really obligated to go and at least give her his share. Uh, uh, of um of the reward. 
of 95 well we don't have that no, much. Uh, not not of what he had but like the the money oh. we're getting for this mission for this quest wait a second didn't 25. he owe me 25 gold <laughs> I, I owe 25 gold <laughs> Hmm. Uh, we we could. Uh, I say we divide up the money evenly. Ah, uh, there's no point in doing that till we get out of here. Other people are gonna die. Other <laughs> people may die. Just do it before we get the fourth. <laughs> well, you guys have a map leading you rugby to it, so with any luck, nothing horrible will happen to you. Well, yeah, we are, but it, we are gonna be a... setting down after the funeral, so that's yeah, when but... we're gonna like go through his belongings. Okay. Yeah. And it's not like we're not going to look around the rest of the place. Nope. That's, that, that's really up to you. You guys will complete your quest once you find the bodies. Burglar's plaque, quiver, 18 arrows, three teddy rations. Yeah, keep that thing fed. Nope, nothing I, can, nope, nothing I particularly need. Um... Um, yeah, before we go back in, you guys will come across an adventurer who will admit to, oh, I, I, I thought it was a monster, so I, I beat up the, the tiger. I let it live, though. Uh, I'm not going to like him at all. <laughs> no, you're not. Uh, it's all very reasonable. All right, then. I, I think that's it for today. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to have to, I think, talk a little bit over... The over the week to discuss the items and everything. Yeah. But if there's nothing we really need, probably just gonna throw in the cart. Yeah, I can make another rogue or a real, uh, like a two or two wizard, depending on what you want. Well, if you want to go that route, why not go arcane trickster? Mm, the spell and casting on arcane trickster kind of sucks. Oh, I don't yeah. know. I never, uh, yeah, yeah. he only the... has illusions and then um, yeah. losing enchantment, right? Yeah. You could I'm try saying, a bard. You only get like because you were thinking that last time, right? The what? Bard. Bard. The bard? Yeah, you mm -hmm. were thinking bard before you decided. And they, and they cover the ro yeah. and they cover the rogue angle too. Yeah, because yeah. they get a background of those two monsters with deep souls. But the thing is, the spell casting is not bad. They're 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 the mix, which is why they're end up being so good. Yeah, bards are one of the better characters. That usually, if I've got characters that I don't want to take all the way to twenty, I try I find a way to MC them into bard. I mean, heck, you get three levels in bard, get lore bard. Wow, the stuff, the bonuses you get are off the hook. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, but divination uh, a wizard could actually be quite quite helpful. In terms of utility, it won't be much damage, but... We do have, like, a player and an other uh, spellcaster already. Yeah, but sorcery is more damage, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Alright, guys, I, I if we're done... For we, we have a week to think about it. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll just save the rolls. Okay. Right. Y'all have a good one. Yeah, okay, Ryan. Yeah, um, yeah, I think. Yeah. Let me see. So I have an eighteen. So, I'll just be getting the next one. We'll have a rest of. Um, you guys will get a rest. Don't worry about that. Just means that everything's back. To yeah. Since you seem to have to bring in another character anyway. Um, <clears throat> Horatio, your character starts at level three. Um, no extra experience. I have no fucking idea what to make. It's it's fine, man. You got a week. Um, let's see. I think that's pretty much it. Um, that's the end of the stream, everyone's. If anyone's actually still around, um, this will be uploaded to YouTube as well.